Welcome to Podsdale, where we explore the stories that make Scottsdale truly special. I'm your host, Holly Walter from the city's Office of Communication. Join me as we learn what makes Scottsdale tick. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Okay, it's starting to warm up. It's June, but things are still happening in Old Town Scottsdale. And here to talk to us about it today is Angelica Chipulo. She is our Old Town Marketing Program Manager with the City of Scottsdale. So she knows all things Old Town. Welcome, Angelica. It's great to have you. Thank you so much, Holly. It is a pleasure to be here. And with it being your first time on the program, I'm going to ask for you to share a little bit about yourself with our listeners. Sure, absolutely. Well, I am thrilled to be here today. As Holly mentioned, I'm Angelica Chapulo, the Old Town Marketing Program Manager, and I've only been with the city since the end of September, but within this short time period, I've had the opportunity to jump into fantastic events that we have here like Scott Stazzle and Western Week. Prior to working with the city, I actually spent a good chunk of my adult life abroad. I lived in England for a few years and Switzerland for quite some time, about 12 years, and always working within the tourism, events, uh, communications, marketing areas, and really excited to now be part of Scottsdale. And it's great that we got you back here into Arizona. How did that happen? Sunshine. Um, (laughs) So one thing we'll be talking about today, the warmer weather, the sunshine, and really Old Town Scottsdale was a huge draw for me. I knew I wanted to relocate back to the United States, looked at a number of locations, and was really drawn to the charm, the uniqueness, and kind of the friendly feeling that you get when walking throughout Old Town Scottsdale. So it was really a big a big draw for moving back to this area. And has it lived up to its reputation so far? Absolutely. Absolutely loving it. Great. Well, we're glad to have you. And I know, like you mentioned, there's so many things that happen in Old Town throughout the year. So we kind of threw you right into things. As you mentioned, you started in September and I believe shortly after Canal Convergence was happening. And then, as you mentioned, Scott Stazzle. And we have so many great things that happen year round. But what we're going to talk about today is something new. I guess it's been around for a couple of years, but uh, we're bringing it back. And it's a great time to visit Old Town. We don't have quite as many visitors this time of year, but we still have a lot of great things going on down there and what we call June days. So can you tell us a little bit about that? June Day started four years ago, and it's really the city's initiative to do exactly what you're saying. Let people know we're still here. There's still things happening. Yes, it's a bit warmer outside. You might not want to spend all day outdoors, but we have fantastic galleries, shops, restaurants, outdoor activities during the early morning and late evenings. There's still so much happening, and we highly encourage locals and tourists to come to Old Town Scottsdale during the month of June. June Days really compiles all of the events that are taking place, city programs and also events taking place inside our merchant locations. And so these events are not just for visitors, correct? No, I would love to see locals. And I think part of being a local, sometimes you're in your day-to-day routine and you forget, oh, wait, I've never been to that art gallery. I've never tried that restaurant. And this is the perfect opportunity to come out during the summer months. It sounds like there are things for all ages and all interests. Let's talk about a few of those. How are we kicking off the month? The month is filled with activities taking place. Some of our annual events that we've had in the past, such as Juneteenth, um, Scottsdale Stories and Suites. Those are two programs that have been in the past and are coming back again this year. Stories and Suites. I've heard of that one before. What does that involve? Stories and Suites, this is its third year, and Citizen Advisor Bruce Wall takes you through a story and unfolds some of Scottsdale's history. They happen every Tuesday evening. It's completely free. And not only do you get to hear a great story, you also enjoy a suite by one of our local bakers. So for example, Chin Up Donuts, Sweet D's Bakery, they'll provide a suites during the story time. And what a great night out. I mean, you can first go to a restaurant, have a nice meal, and then come by Tuesday evenings at 730 for one of Bruce's stories. And he's great. We've had him on the podcast, in fact, several times because he knows so much about Scottsdale and he's such Mm -hmm. a great storyteller. So I know he actually has kind of uh, his own 
cult following, if you will. He's always a lot of fun to hear his stories. And then Juneteenth is another great event. That's over at the Scottsdale Center for Performing Arts. And there's a lot happening that day, too. Yes, definitely. And that's a great one for the entire family to come out and enjoy. It's a free event. There'll be live entertainment, vendor tables, family-friendly activities, health and wellness information. So really a fantastic opportunity to get the entire family out. That's on Monday, June 15th. Okay. And one thing you mentioned earlier as well, of course, Scottsdale, we're known for our wonderful galleries. What are some of the things happening uh, with the art scene this month? Well, the Gold Palette Art Walk will take place on Thursday evening, June 6th. And that is really when the Arts District shines. I mean, you can come out, the galleries open their doors, they have different types of artist demonstrations, live music, refreshments. That's fantastic. And um, we have several merchants who are involved in activities happening this month. What are some of those activities that we can look forward to? Oh, my goodness. You could fill every single day of your calendar with our merchant activities. And that's one thing that is so unique because we have so many independently owned businesses. So, for example, at the Brush Bar, there are paint and sip events where you can come every session. There's a different theme. You can really unleash some of your creativity. If you're more um, into books, the Poison Pen hosts numerous book discussions, live events with the authors at the Poison Pen bookshops. Some of the stores are offering discounts as well or doing fun promotions like Yellow Spruce Roasters Cafe and Wine Bar. They're doing a cork dork promotion where you can try and guess the wine there. And the Light and Bark Candle Company, she is doing a couple of days. She has a discount on the candle bar. So really, really unique locations offering fantastic events and also discounts. Sounds fun. It sounds like a lot of um, great date night activities that you could take part in. And so many places (laughs) down there that I, you know, I'm, I'm here Every day uh, with work, but it's and, and Old Town is just outside my door, but there's so many things to see and do. It's amazing. So I will definitely be taking part in some of those activities happening. Now, as you mentioned, there's so many things happening throughout the month. You really could fill your calendar pretty much every day. But where can you find more information, more details about what's happening and what days and when? All of the events are listed on oldtownscottsdaleaz.com. You can also follow us on social media. We have Instagram and Facebook, both very lively and continually posting different things happening on the social media sites as well. Excellent. So lots to do in June. And then looking ahead, so what will be next for you, Angelica, once we wrap up June days? What's your next project? (laughs) Oh, that's a great question. Well, things will be happening all summer long. I'm sure our businesses will be filling the calendar with events throughout the summer and then looking forward to holiday planning soon. Right? That'll be here before we know it. And I know there's some great uh, projects happening around Old Town in terms of uh, some beautification happening in the area. And um, part of your job is you work very closely with the merchants in Old Town, correct? Yes, so that is correct. How does, how does that partnership work? I work very closely with the merchants. We actually just had one of our quarterly meetings, the Old Town Update and Merchant Mixer, where we bring together the property owners and businesses to hear from the city and also some of our partners as well. The mayor kicked off the event for us and they take place at Western Spirit Scottsdale Museum of the West. And it's a great opportunity to find out from the merchants what's happening, what they're interested in learning about, and also share some of the initiatives that we have happening in the city. For example, this summer, the benches in historic Old Town will be replaced with new benches. And there's an opportunity if someone is interested to purchase through our public surplus auction warehouse, the planks and the pieces of the benches. I know a lot of them are very important and very sentimental Mm -hmm. to many of the Old Town residents. That's a great idea. <laughs> a great, great nice way to, to put repurpose. In your... <laughs> yes. Yeah, with a little bit of history tied to it. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad you shared that information because I think it's important for others to know that it really is a partnership with what we do in our old town Scottsdale area and really why it's such a gem and so well known. Anything else you'd like to share that we should know about? I would love to tell you just a couple of the new events that we have this year. Okay. So over Father's Day weekend, we are hosting public Scottsdale Stadium tours. 
They are free of charge. You can sign up, whether you're a baseball fan or a history buff or just an old town enthusiast, and be led through the stadium. And just picture there's nobody else there that day. You'll get to walk different pathways that you don't normally get to. Amazing photo opportunities and such a nice thing to do uh, with your family or friends over Father's Day weekend. What a great gift. That would be a great way to surprise dad. Yes, I think it would be a lot of fun. I think those will fill up quickly. And there's two other events that are new this year, really staying in line with Scottsdale's healthy initiative Mm -hmm. and healthy lifestyle. We've partnered with two different fitness organizations. So Bar 3, they are going to be opening a new location in Old Town Scottsdale later this year, and they will be doing early morning and evening pop-up fitness classes over in the Civic Center. And then, if you recall, we had the 10K with Lululemon, and they are going to be hosting a yoga morning for us. It's an all-levels yoga flow. It's a free 45-minute yoga class hosted by one of their local ambassadors, and it's Saturday morning, June 8th, out on the Civic Center. And I was thinking, that's a really nice morning because you can come, attend the yoga, and then afterwards, if you don't know, at the farmer's market, they are open on Saturdays in June, and we have live music and also a lot of grab-and-go options for breakfast. So great way, get up early, take some yoga, and then head over to the farmer's market for a nice breakfast and live music. I love the farmer's market. And what great activities to tie into what we are doing with Blue Zones, Mm -hmm. Scottsdale. So it's all coming together and sounds like a lot of fun. Well, I appreciate your time this morning. I know this was short and sweet, but we went through a lot of information and we're really hoping that we see folks out enjoying these events in the month of June. As Angelica said, it might be getting a little warm, but there's still plenty to do, a lot of fun to be had, and it's definitely worth braving the warmer temperatures. And can you remind listeners again where to go to find this information? Yes, please go to oldtownscottsdaleaz.com or visit us on social media, Old Town Scottsdale AZ. Great. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. That's all for this episode of Podsdale. If you enjoyed listening, be sure to subscribe. You can find us on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences with us by emailing communications at scottsdaleaz.gov. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, this is Holly Walter signing off and inviting you to be part of the Scottsdale story. 